What's up everybody, it's your host Claire Dragoon and in today's video we're going to be talking about understanding queen walk to mass hog. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down an attack right here uh, in this war with one hive and uh, north watchers. And we're going to break down this attack here by Danny. And uh, we'll start right here with the queen walk portion of this attack. And, and let's talk about what Danny done and why. And we're going to we're going to get uh, some pink for the queen because the queen deserves pink. So right here, the queen's going to start out about right here, and. She's going to immediately, uh, where she's positioned, I might have her a little off. She's going to target this uh, mine first. Then she's going to target this camp. And then she's going to step up and target this archer tower. Now, while that's going on, Danny's going to throw a couple of wizards right here. And he's going to throw a wizard here and a wizard here. And basically, those wizards, they only got one job to do. And that's to corral the queen. Uh, into kind of stepping up and going after uh, the enemy queen right here. We'll go back to pink. Um, so, you know, this queen is going to jump the wall and, and target the enemy queen once, or the uh, your queen once she uh, steps up. So the queen's eventually going to end up around in here, and she's going to be targeting all of this right here. Uh, so in that time, you're gonna you're gonna use a poison. Uh, let's just get this for poison. You know, you'll poison the enemy queen. And if you need to rage, uh, if you need to rage your queen during that time, obviously you'll rage her. So you can pretty much uh, expect to spend a rage on that queen anytime you're doing this attack. You, you pretty much need to do that. If you can get away with not using that rage, that's great. But, but have it in the arsenal here, and, and we'll see what Danny does, and, and Danny gets away with it, but you, you need to have it just in case. You never know with Queen Walks if you're gonna have to rage her. If she gets too much DPS on her, um, it's gonna cause you to need that rage. But as you can see, uh, with, with the DPS, I mean, there's only like light DPS here, so. Uh, Danny, Danny really uh, counted on not having to to uh, deal with a rage, and and he, but he brought one, so he brought one because he knew he possibly would need it. But anyway, here we go. So let's go to to his next phase as the queen walk is going. And what's going to happen here, too, guys? Um, oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to go to uh, let's go to red. Uh, as this is going on, he's going to drop. Um, a, a CC or not a CC I'm sorry he's gonna drop a hog and that hog his only purpose is to come up in here and to pull this CC so this CC will aggro the Queen and the Queen will take out the CC with the enemy Queen and and the CC so he and it's gonna be a hound in this particular video so just so you know that it's gonna be a hound um, so that's what the hog does and when he does that he also drops the wizard out to uh, to take care of this um, this here, so uh, as that's going on, he's going to put his BK down, and his BK is going to come into play about right here, and then he's going to drop some wizards. Let's get that. He's going to drop some wizards here, drop one here, here. They're all, and then one behind the king. And those wizards are just to kind of help funnel the king up this way. And the king's going to engage the enemy king and kill him. So that's his only job. And basically to just thin out some of these uh, outward uh, trash buildings. Get that done, you know. So then once that's complete, the queen walk is going gonna, is gonna to continue um, down this path. Right here, she's gonna, she's, or all this is gonna be gone. She's just gonna just walk all the way down here and she's gonna destroy everything in her path um, as she goes. Now, as that, as that's going on, um, and we're gonna use, let's see, we gotta pick a really cool color here for, uh, for the hogs. Let's go, let's go with teal. 
So right here, he's gonna drop this CC hogs, CC. Uh, and right here, he's gonna drop a group of 10 hogs right here. And as they're, as they're doing their work, he's gonna heal them around in here somewhere. And they're going to take care of that big pocket of uh, defenses right there. And then he's going to come in with five more hogs. Let's get back to that lovely teal. Uh, and I think they're going to be coming in right here um, with five more. And then, this is really cool about this raid. He's going to heal again right in here. And that rage that we talked about that he didn't use on his queen walk... He's going to rage those hogs through this core. And they're just going to get crazy in that core. And then as, as, it's, as it's progressing, he's going to throw two more hogs right here. And as he does that, he's going to finish off the raid right here with one more heal. And that's going to finish it off. The queen is going to continue uh, just going her merry way right on through and meet up with the rest of the uh, attacking troops and she's just going to help the hogs right there and that is the anatomy of the queen walk mass hog and this let me tell you is a beautiful attack so what we're going to do we're going to take a look at that attack all right guys and now that we've seen the uh, attack plan we're going to take a look at the actual attack and let's go take a look that's number 27 here we go, number 27, boom. There we go by Danny. And guys, there's one thing I didn't tell you about, and I'm going to save it to the end in the planning attack. Uh, but let's take a look. And here you go, Danny's dropping his queen, just where we talked about. She's targeting, he's got his funnel wizards down, and all this moves kind of fast. And so you, you just need to, to be aware of time, and, and you need to corral your queen. So you got to get these guys down really quick. So there he is, wizards coming down. You're going to see the the uh, CC pool hog here in a second and look right there he was able to use that poison to uh, deal with the queen slower down so they didn't have to rage and that's going to pay off dividends uh, towards the middle of the attack here comes the CC hound which kind of slows queen walks down kind of annoying actually but the queen's going to deal with that so now Danny has the time to drop his BK, get get that part going, kill the enemy king so that the king doesn't pose any threat to the hogs. And here we go, here's his hog deployments. Just dropped 10 hogs there at the top and he dropped uh, his CC hogs. And they're working quite nicely. The queen's doing her thing. He had to poison the uh, lava hound when it busted in the lava pups, but that's okay. And watch this, watch this heal here and there goes that, that rage that he didn't use right there. And that rage is going to get these hogs through the core really fast. And he's going to drop those two hogs right on that Tesla. And here comes that last heal right there. And let's see those. Come on, Danny. There they are right there. Or three hogs. It was more than two. It was, or more than, it was three. But, but anyway, what I didn't talk about is at the end of this raid, Danny gets to swag nine hogs. That That is a testament to to the power of this attack. Hasn't even used his queen's ability, just threw the archers in there because he, you know, he said, what the heck, I'll throw them in. But just watch this beautiful bacon parade right here. And it is coming, I'll speed it up so that we can enjoy the bacon parade. Awesome job, Danny. Now let's go to the next attack. All right, so we'll go to 35. Oh, 35, oops, there it goes. Oh, 35 is by Danny again. And here we go, let's take a look at this one. And here comes his queen, he's got the healers down. And you can tell with that baby drag, he's trying to funnel his queen uh, into the base. Uh, see how he's dropped the wizards at the bottom there? He's, he's basically trying to make her charge in to this base. He's doing a great job of it here. That baby drag is going to go down right before he got that mortar, but he's going to throw a hog on it. 
and maybe pull the CC right here. Nope, he's not going to get that done. But now the queen is going to step up right here and engage the enemy queen. And there he's poisoned her again. He slowed her down, and that gave his queen time to take her out. And you guys should make note of that. That is excellent. Um, excellent work by Danny. Excellent thought process. So now the queen uh, is going to just walk down. And he's hoping to turn her in right here. I'm sure of it. So here he goes. He, he just pulled that CC. And that was great. He had to burn a rage this time though, guys. There was enough DPS on the queen that he had to burn that rage. And there goes the CC. He had to phase her right there. Unfortunately, he didn't have another rage for him. And now comes his line of hogs. Hasn't even deployed his king, and there I said it, and his king is out. He's got his cleanup already going, guys, as his hogs are deploying. King has taken out the enemy king. That way the king, the enemy king doesn't beat on the hogs. And look at there, he's got one more heal left. And if he could save that for around that bow area, I'm sure there's some bombs or either around this wizard tower. Well, let's see. Yep, he's banking on that hole right there. And it wasn't there. Where is the bomb? Um, there it is. There it is by the bow, of course. And the queen died, but it doesn't matter because the hogs have routed this base. I'm gonna speed it up. Excellent attack, Danny. Great, great stuff. Now this next attack uh, is pretty cool at 38. And it's by, let me see here, uh, T Blonde. And as you can see here, he's got a queen walk, but he's also got a golem. So not only, he's, he's got a cold-blooded entry with a queen walk. This is something very unusual, and he's got some balloons. So let's see this exciting high-level attack here by T Blonde. And right here, he's starting his walk. Everything's looking good right now. He's in autopilot. The queen's not in danger. She's just pecking away. I, I, I noticed this minion, so he's trying to turn her to the left, and it worked. So here comes the rest of his healers. Uh, and right there, um, this is a follow-up attack because he knew that that Tesla was right there, and he used a balloon to get rid of it. So the queen is uh, just doing it. She's on autopilot right now, just doing her thing. We'll see what he has planned for arrest. Okay, so here's his entry right there. And you would think going right at the ADs like that, he would be going in with a, an air attack possibly, but that's not what this is about. So here comes that jump. The king's going in. And I'm just curious as to what he's going to do with that queen. Is she going to step up into the box with the king? Yep, that's what she's going to do. And he's going to get her with that entry. And now his queen has joined the kill squad. I mean, awesome planning here. Just awesome planning. It's really cool to see uh, this type of planning going in an attack. Very nice. So as you can see, he has a, a job for these balloons to do. That little cluster of balloons. And now that that archer tower's down, the balloons don't have to deal with nothing but the expo. And here comes his hogs to take care of the expo. And now they're going to take care of that, take care of that. And the bow has survived just a little bit longer, but the queen took the bow out. And he's still got a clutch of hogs left. He's got five of them. Now he's got two. And that's going to be plenty. Oh, wow, holy spring traps. But that's going to be fine. That's enough to take this base. He's got a couple of swag hogs there. And here they come across the base. <laughs> nice job, t block And this last attack I thought was really interesting because it had not only a queen walk, guys, but it had a shattered entry, Gohobo. So let's take a look at that. That that's that's unusual. I I think this is the first time I've ever seen a queen walk to shattered Gohobo. So right here, that tells me that this is a follow-up attack. 
uh, because he already knew where the uh, troll Tesla was and he took it out with those hogs now here's the queen doing her thing she's on autopilot right this minute not enough DPS to to really get him concerned although she is a little red it's just not enough he's not gonna burn that rage unless he has to and if you notice in this attack there is no heal so he's gonna get a lot of work out of this kill squad and his queen walk now he had to phase his queen there so he's not really wanting to use uh, the rage on her as of yet. And there, there he goes again. There's that poison of the royal, which gives the queen time. It slows the king down, gives the queen time to health up so that he could uh, not burn a rage. I really love that. This is very efficient attacking right here. Here comes his wall breakers. They look a little crazy, but... Maybe they'll get in there. Not quite sure. Nope. They all died. So there goes a jump. And he's, he went ahead and set two jumps there. Here comes his bowlers. Queen, king. Everything's going in. A couple of hogs here that help out in the melee. Poison down for the CC. And here we go. Everything's working in. It's quite beautiful here. Gonna rage one more time to keep these guys going. Bowler's going mad. Once they get that bow down, that's gonna be huge. And the queen. The queen has to die. And the king's gonna take care of her right there. And right now, the, those two Teslas popped up. Two more troll Teslas. He's gonna have to deal with those. And so he puts some hogs on them. And a wizard. Nice. And now, as you can see, it's just a little bit left here. He's got eight hogs in the bag, guys. It literally, he could finish his base right now with his kill squad. But he's going he's gonna, to um, add a few more hogs to the fray to, just to get rid of that troll Tesla. And look at this beautiful uh, parade of hogs here. Going to speed it up. It's just a matter of cleanup. Great job, Bloodbath. Excellent work. And guys... I hope that this video helps you uh, with Queen Walk to Mass Hogs. I know not all of them were Queen Walk to Mass Hogs. There were some that were different, but still it was really cool, really interesting. And I hope it helps you out to see these different styles of attacks. And uh, that's what I'm trying to do with understanding certain attacks uh, um, in those that series I'm making. And I hope it helps you guys to become better clashers. And with that being said, I am out of here.